Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem. We have the x root of 27 equal to it's 1 to the power of x. Now this is simple because x root of 27 is 27 to the power of 1 over x. And here we have it 1 to the power of x. What we will do next is breaking it down so that we can have um, the same base, right? 27 is 3 to the power of 3. Then the power of 1 over x still there. Then it 1 is 3 to the power of 4. Then the power of x is outside. But then the powers can always multiply. So we have 3 to the power of 3 over x, which is equal to 3 to the power of 4x. So that from here, what we will do is to work with the powers. So if we do that, we have 3 over x to be equal to 4x because we are working with the powers. Now cross multiply this and we shall have 4x squared equal to 3. Divide both sides by 4 so that x squared will be equal to 3 over 4. Remember, we are not looking for x squared, we are looking for x. So, we take the square root of um, x squared, then we also take the square root of 3 over 4. But whenever you take square root on the right, you have positive or negative value. From here, this cancels this, and our x is equal to positive or negative square root of 3 over square root of um, 4. You know, we can always split it like this. So that from here, our x is plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. Because square root of 4 is 2. And now, this means that x is equal to root 3 over 2 or negative root 3 over 2. This is what we have. And I want us to deal with this. Right? But then... Are we sure that this value will satisfy the original equation? The original equation is this. The x root of um, 27 equals it's 1 to the power of x. Now, let's try to proceed. This is the same thing as 27 to the power of 1 over x, right? And it's equal to it's 1 to the power of x. Now, in place of x... I'm going to put the value that we got, which is root 3 over 2. I will have 27 to the power of 1 divided by root 3 over 2. And then it's equal to it 1 to the power of root 3 over 2. That is the value of x. Let's continue. Okay, so this is what we have on both sides. But then, let me circle this because they may not be equal. Now, let's um, check this out. This is 27. You know, to deal with this, you're going to have um, 2 over root 3. Now, will this be equal to what we have here? It's 1 to the power of um, root 3 over 2. Now, permit me to pick one of these and deal with it. In fact, I'll pick the right first and deal with it. We have 81 to the power of root 3 over 2. 81 is 3 to the power of 4. And then we have um, root 3 over 2, right? Now, this can go there. So that at the end of the day, on the right-hand side, we will have 3. Here, we'll have 2 now, right? 2, then multiply by 3x. Multiply by square root of um, 3. So this is what we have. On the right hand side, let me write it out. On the right, right hand, what we have is 3 squared root 3. Okay, 3 to the power of um, 2 root 3. Now, let's go over to the left hand side where we got 27 to the power of 2 over 3. I'll bring it out right away. 27 to the power of um, 2 over root 3. 2 over root 3. 
do not forget every time you have you know a denominator that is um a non-rational number like this we need to rationalize it so to rationalize this we'll have 27 to the power of 2 over root 3 multiplied by root 3 over root 3 okay so if you're rationalizing the denominator you have multiplied by itself in this way now this will give us 27 okay now 2 multiplied by root 3 that will be 2 root 3 over root 3 times root 3 will give us 3 now what is 27 27 is 3 to the power of um, 3 then we have the power of 2 root 3 over 3 right now this will simply cancel this and then we are having 3 to the power of 2 root 3 so this is what we are having on the left hand side now let's bring the two together on the left we have 3 to the power of 2 root 3 and then on the right what did we get before we got um, 3 to the power of 2 root 3 so let me write it out we have um, 3 to the power of 2 root 3 and this is a confirmation that this value of x okay the value of x where did I write it okay I wrote it somewhere there the value of x equal to um, root root 3 over 2 satisfies the given equation and if this satisfies then the second which is x equal to negative root 3 negative root 3 over 2 will also satisfy the equation thank you for watching